All right, guys, today we're over here at Aladdin's Kebab Corner. It's a mix of Indian food, Mediterranean food, and Pakistani food. And today, we're gonna check out what they have here for me. So let's go. Today, I am in for a treat because Aladdin's, they are serving food that is served to emperors. The biryani, the naan, the kebabs, this is food fit for kings. And today, if I had one wish, it would be to become King Beaumont Foodie. Let's see what they have for me today. Aladdin's Kebab Corner has a great menu, but they also have some specialty drinks. And that's what we're gonna check out right now. All right guys, so I got two drinks here. This is the first one. This is the mint lemonade. So let's give this a try. Real pretty, really green. Let's see how this tastes. These are interesting. I don't think I've ever had an Indian drink like this. Mm. Super minty and good. I don't know what all this inside of here is. It looks very interesting. That's refreshing. And then this one is the mango popping boba. So basically I was told it's like a mango lassi with some popping boba inside of it. Mm. Really thick, like a mango lassi is pretty much like a watered down yogurt. So it's like a watered down yogurt drink, but this is really good too. With a boba in there, nice different drink that you wouldn't expect this. You would expect this thing more like at a Taiwanese boba shop. So that the fact that they have this over here, really interesting. And then of course there's some maraschino cherries on top. So now we have our drinks, but we're gonna see inside the kitchen what they're gonna make for us today. You really can't go to a place called Aladdin's Kebab's Corner without getting their kebab plate. And this is Aladdin's Kebab combo. This comes with chicken, lamb, they put some sumac on top of it. It's an interesting flavor, and we're gonna talk about that after I taste it. It comes with a salad as well, and they top it off with some cilantro to just make it look all much more prettier. After that, they serve it up to me. So let's see what I think about this kebab plate. All right guys, this is the lattice mixed grill here. You can see you have chicken, some beef. It looks like this is like lamb. And then, yeah, that's about it with the salad and then the rice, of course. All right, let's give this a taste. This is a little bit of the chicken, some of the salad. It's gonna be a perfect bite right here. Mm. The chicken is still super juicy inside there. Good flavor, especially with the salad. I think this is just a ranch. Yeah, that's just a ranch. I was expecting like a, a yogurt sauce, but that's good too. You can't hate on ranch at all. Let's taste some of the beef with the rice. That's good, tender. On top of it, there is some sumac on top of there. It's kind of a tangy flavor, almost limey, I would say. Call it like a limey flavor, but that's a good flavor. And let's try this one right here. This is the lamb. Give this a taste. I really do like the sumac. Good solid dish, especially with the salad. It looks healthy. This makes you feel like it's a lot healthier than what it is, but it's probably, it looks pretty healthy. Everything's grilled. Rice, salad, grilled meat. Can't beat it. So this is one of the dishes over here. We're gonna try something else next. One of the best parts of eating Indian food is the naan. This is the garlic naan right there. He's pressing in all that garlic, all that cilantro before putting it in a real tandoori here. This is gonna cook the bread real fast. And after that, they're gonna put all of that ghee. Ghee's clarified butter. And man, this has got me salivating. The naan bread is gonna go well with the feast that they have prepared for me. There's so much food that they gave me. Let's see what I got. So we got a feast here. We got some regular biryani rice. We got some chicken biryani. We got the chicken 65, the fried corn, and then the dal right here. And 
They also brought me some raita. So this is this is the yogurt. That's gonna go good to cool stuff down if it is too hot. And of course we have the garlic naan right here. So this is what I love. I love bread and this is some good flat bread right here. So let's go ahead and break this up. Let's go ahead and taste this first. Mmm. It tastes like a good piece of bread. That you can taste the garlic, you can taste the butter. And this is probably clarified butter. It's probably not butter. It's more like ghee, right? So let's just dip this in the dal. Mmm. It definitely tastes all the spices in there. I don't know what spices there are, but they definitely are. Let's try the chicken 65. This looks super spicy. I don't know how it is. Is it 65 degrees? You can see there are some peppers there. Cilantro. This is good. Not too spicy. I want to say it might be a fried chicken, but I don't think so. There's the, there's the kick. There's a little bit of a kick. So whenever you do feel that kick, you get the right to and cool yourself down with some naan. Lastly, let's try some of the biryani over here. All right. Like a little bit of some warmer spices, like cinnamon, and I can't tell what else. Probably nutmeg, I don't know. I don't know what's in there, but it's good. And then you gotta mix it all up with the dal, the rice, and then the fried corn that we had earlier. Good, strong flavors, good Indian food over here at Aladdin's Kebab Corner. I think we have one more dish coming out, some butter chicken, so we'll wait for that. But I'm gonna eat this so far because there's a lot of food. And trust me, this food won't go to waste. I'll bring it home and eat it all up within the next couple of days. So I'm gonna enjoy my food and wait for that butter chicken to come out. All right guys, this is the last dish we have. This is the butter chicken, the traditional thing that pretty much everybody knows about, the butter chicken. Let's put some of that. Look at this nice color, orange color on the butter chicken. Let's put it on here. And then this is gonna go good with that naan again. Again, you need something that's really saucy and the butter chicken is that saucy thing that you can eat. I love Indian food because you can eat with your hands. You know, Filipinos, I'm Filipino. They also eat with their hands. So we have something in common. Mmm. That's really tasty. Not too spicy. Again, it's probably gonna hit me later. Well, that's really good. That's, I love Indian food when you can dip your food, your, your, your naan into the sauce, so. Really good, let's taste it with the bread, with the lentils, with the corn. Let's do one whole spoonful of everything right here. Let's give it a taste. I said the lentils are my favorite, but man, this butter chicken, this is where it's at. So I'm gonna enjoy this food. And then we got two more things to taste. We have dessert and we also got some piney puri. All right guys, so on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, they have the Pani Puri Bar, basically. So they have the, these little cups. So if you guys can see these little cups right here, they're gonna fill this with some type of liquid, and it's super refreshing. I haven't had it in a few years, and uh, we're gonna see them make it. So this one is Pani Puri. It is uh, Indian street food. So this is a crispy ball. What we can do is we can just pop it inside, and then we have the filling. Some people like spicy, some like sweet. So it depends on your taste. Would you like to have spicy or sweet? Let's do spicy. Spicy. So for the spicy, we add more spicy water in that. And then would you like to add this one? Sure. So that's sweet. 
tamarind, right? Yes, so. A little bit of sweet, and then I'll give it to you, and then you can take it once. All right, this is the Pani Puri. Let's give this a taste. A light, crisp, round ball thing, basically. Mm. Super refreshing. It's very lightweight, street food. Mm -hmm. It gives you a feeling like you are like standing in the street yeah. and then you can have it like as a fun. You can go with your partner and then... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is fun. I, yeah. I haven't had Pani Puri in a long, long time. <laughs> they have this over here only. I, haven't, I don't think any other place in Beaumont or, or in the Southeast Texas has this, but Aladdin's Kebab is corner. So make sure to check this out for sure. That's something that's you won't get anywhere. You won't get this at the fair. You won't get this anywhere at the mall. You'll get it only here at Aladdin's Kebab Corner. So we have one more dish. It's the Julab Guman, something like that. So let's go get that taste. All right, guys, this is the perfect ending to a great meal over here at Aladdin's Kebab Corner, the Gulab Jamin. So I'm gonna finish this. I'll tell you what I thought about this place back in the truck. All right, guys, that's me for Aladdin's Kebabs Corner. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. People over there that work there, that own the place, all very friendly. And I enjoyed my time over here at Aladdin's Kebab Corner. Make sure to check them out over here in Beaumont, Texas. And don't forget, if you guys want to follow me on the food, subscribe, leave me a comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.